Okay, welcome to Mr. C Science Teacher. Today we're having another flip lesson and we're looking at some aspects of mains electricity. AC and DC uh, voltages, electric currents, wiring up a plug and some of the safety devices. Quick reminder then about the first step. Obviously you're going to watch the video. Remember to stop it and rewind it as often as you need to to get the important points down. Quick think about making notes. Here's the important points. Don't forget the purpose, the audience and the form. When you've made your notes after the video is finished, you're going to have to write a summary about what you've learned. And don't forget at the end, the job's not finished, you've written down some questions that you can ask in the next lesson. So here we go. Uh, today we're learning about AC-DC. Okay, unfortunately it's not this kind. Some of you might have heard this before. Pretty legendary, look it up on YouTube. No, indeed, we're not looking at ACDC, the Australian rockers. We're looking at this ACDC. We're looking at two different types of electric current. Alternating current and direct current. Here we go. Oh, no. This is definitely not what we're looking at. Direct current only flows in one direction. Okay, that's enough of that. Here we go. Key points about direct current only flows in one direction it's produced by any kind of cell or battery so anything that you recharge anything which you have to uh, charge up like your phone or a laptop will have a battery in it a cell and the chemical reaction can only push the current one way so it's definitely going to be direct current okay the other type of current is alternating current which does this much as we'd like to listen to the Foo Fighters all day, let's get on with it. Here we go. Alternating current goes one way around the circuit and then the other. It changes direction actually so fast that we don't notice. It changes 50 times a second. It comes out of the mains. Okay, so all these devices here, anything that you plug in, has to use uh, AC current. Okay, quick summary then. We've got AC current and DC current, dead simple, DC one direction, AC goes back and forth, 50 times a second in this country. Right, let's have a quick look at something else, okay, can you guess what it is yet? Ta-da, it's my kettle, okay, here we go, attached to the kettle you can see you've got a flex, okay, at the end of the flex is the plug, if I unscrew the plug and turn it round okay, have a quick look see inside what can we see, right, close, okay what can we see bottom right is a brown wire here which is a live wire connected up to the fuse bottom left is a blue wire which is called the neutral wire and the top one here is a yellow and green wire called the earth wire the earth wire and the fuse are electrical safety devices Let's find out what they use. Okay, here we go. Wiring up a plug. Inside a plug we've got the following features then. Okay, easy way to remember what's going on is the blue wire is bottom left and the brown wire is bottom right. Don't forget that brown wire needs to be connected up to the fuse main point is that the neutral wire actually is relatively safe, it's nearly zero volts whereas the other one goes up and down extremely high voltages and is very dangerous that's why you connect it to the fuse let's have a see what uh, the naked scientists have to say about fuses fuses consist of a thin wire with a low melting point if a sufficiently large current flows it will heat up causing the wire to melt and blow the fuse Okay, here's a quick summary for you. 
Don't forget you can stop the video at any point, so I'm not going to talk it all through. Basically a fuse is the weakest link in the circuit. You've got to use the right fuse though, you can get different currents for them, 3 amps, 5 amps, 10 amps, 13 amps, you must use the right fuse. We'll do more about this in lessons. OK, next step, there is an alternative to a fuse. Simple circuit breakers work by using the current in the live wire as an electromagnet which pulls the switch of a circuit breaker towards itself. When the current jumps to unsafe levels, the electromagnet becomes sufficiently strong to pull the switch open, cutting off the supply. OK, so key points then about a miniature circuit breaker or MCB. The little switch inside is help, held shut by a spring and when the electromagnet gets strong enough because of a big current flowing it actually opens the switch and turns it off. If you fix the fault in the circuit you can go back and switch it back on again so you can reuse it. Last thing, we saw, uh, we saw in, the, in the plug we saw the, the earth wire, let's see what the earth wire is all about. Here we go. 230 volts can easily drive a current through your heart that's large enough to kill you if you complete the circuit by touching the live line. Also, if a fault develops, like a short circuit, which provides a low resistance connection between the live and neutral lines... Someone's put a nail through a wire. ...produce enough heat to start a fire. Easily As start a fire. Dangers, electricity suppliers go to great efforts to make systems safe. Mains conducting devices like plugs, cables and light switches are surrounded by insulating plastic. This prevents any dangerous leaking of current. Provide extra protection, electrical devices are also earthed. An extra cable, which is traditionally a yellow and green colour, is connected to the neutral line at the substation and via plugs and cables to the cases of any connected electrical devices. This means that if a live wire accidentally touches the case inside a device, the current will drain harmlessly to earth. Without this safeguard, the case could become live, meaning that if you touched it, you would be electrocuted. OK, key points about the earth wire then. It's there to prevent shocks. It's connected up to the, uh, to the casing inside if you've got a metal casing. So the casing becomes live, the electricity will go straight through the earth wire into the ground. Next set of key points then. If that happens, OK, that means the electricity is flowing through the earth wire, not through the person, so the person is safe. It does help if you've got a fuse there though, because if you haven't got a fuse and you get a fault, and the flex is going to catch fire. OK, a little quick tour of the house. Here we go. Let's bring up the other webcam and go and see what you want to see. OK, everyone's house has got one of these things. Let's go and see if we can find it. Somewhere in your house you've got... Up on the wall, under the stairs, you can see mine there. That's called the consumer unit. OK, I'm going to open up the consumer unit and see what's inside. Look and reach. OK, here I've got a bank of trip switches, they look like that. OK, one for each circuit in the house, upstairs, downstairs, lights, sockets, kitchen. Now this thing here, main switch, OK, that is the trip switch. Let's see what it does. OK. Okay, so it's this idea about monitoring the difference on either side. If there's a difference, it means some current is leaking out somewhere. Let's see what we say about that. So the leaking current could be somebody getting an electric shock. Okay, quick summary. Main points. Alternating current goes back and forth. Cells and batteries produce direct current, which is one direction. Fuses and MCBs are there to uh, stop too much current flowing and causing a fire if there's a fault in a circuit. 
the earth wire is there to uh, stop you getting electric shock the fuse has got a thin piece of wire in it it's the weakest link and MCB uses an electromagnet to open the switch last things check okay compare the objectives to what you've so far got down in your notes make sure you can meet all the objectives with your notes thanks very much for watching now it's time to go and do number two write a summary of what you've learned and number three some questions about what you want to know next thanks very much bye